Come here, Todd. This is an annual family tradition for some very close friends of mine. First thing we're gonna do is make our dredge for our fried fish, fried oysters, shrimp, all other kind of things. Um, the seafood breading mix, the fish fry, zetarans, this is more of a consistency of flour instead of cornmeal. So it makes for a good fine batter. Fine as in like very tight texture, not fine as in okay. Although it makes it okay one too. Real easy, put it in the pan. Again, this is some of Fred's seasoning. We've been using it. It's got a really good flavor to it. It's got it's got most of the kitchen pantry. So I normally put about two tablespoons in, three tablespoons. Just kind of mix everything around. Just get the seasons incorporated into it. You can use just salt, pepper, or garlic, a little bit of smoked paprika. Kind of season the taste. You can also use Zatarain Cajun seasonings. Your dredge is ready. Now to prepping the fish. Catfish. Catfish is really cheap, fries up really well. You can do lots of fun things with it. You want to preheat your oil, you want it around 325, 350. We're using canola oil for this. All right, so we're doing catfish nuggets. So remember the blade trick? Hold it on the edge, lift it up, cut it straight across. Throw it in the flour. Rinse and repeat. This is one of those things you're gonna to want to keep a wet hand, dry hand. And if you have a lot of people coming over, be prepared for standing in this position for a very long time. Literally all you do is just roll everything around until it's nice and evenly coated. Fish is wet so it's gonna naturally right stick. Here. Yes. And you did a backhand flip. <laughs> See, it's not that hard. You have your fry basket, once you get everything done, nice and coated, good thing to do is just put it in the basket. Hold the basket over the top of your flour so when it drops off, it stays in there. Whenever you're frying catfish, you want to do about a pound at a time. That was a two pound package. If you do much more than that, it drops the temperature of your oil, it all starts sticking together. It's not a cool thing. So you want your basket to kind of look like that. Everything one nice little level, everything's not piled on top of each other for the most part. Once your oil gets down to, once your oil gets to 350, 375, you're gonna drop it in. We'll bring it back whenever we start doing that. Hi, hi Jeff. So whenever you get oysters, we got a half gallon of uh, raw oysters. That a lot of times they come in pails whenever you get them huge and bulk like this, because you know, meat, bulk, it's a thing. One of the things you, right? So one of the things you wanna be sure to do is drain them. Just in, pretty easy, colander in a bowl, throw them into your breading, roll that around. You're gonna fry just like everything else. Fish! Can we do me a favor? <laughs> Over to the... Uh, can we get that? Can I just get that one? So what you're looking for is whenever the fish is like floating above the basket, you see they grab the handle and move it back and forth and the fish doesn't move too much, it means it's floating off the bottom, it's kind of floating top of the oil. As you know, things are getting ready. It's the same applies for hush puppies, oysters, fish, french fries, you want it to float. That's kind of what you're looking for. You look at that particular one. See what's not moving when I move the basket? And you know when you're getting close. It's not like Ryan on a Saturday night. Floating? All right. Mm. Oysters, all right. Oysters are hilarious, and Fred has a really funny story about it. If the water is, or the oil is too hot when you're putting an oyster in, they will jump right out of the pot, along with everything else. There's a lot of water content in these. You need to drain them and bread them pretty well. So, here we go. There we go. All right, whenever you're frying stuff, put the basket down, kind of shake it around a little bit. You want to get it, anything that's stuck to the bottom loose, or whenever it starts to float, you'll actually see it and not be stuck in the pan. So, oysters are gonna go for about two, two and a half minutes while you're cooking them. Here we go again. <laughs> hey, don't worry, it won't cut off this time because I'm here. There's one camera! It will not, we don't have to sync it up! I know, but it's so funny to do that to you. <laughs> and how long it took you to realize it is even better. I'm looking around, I'm like, what other one? That one's off. That one's off. The other one's at my house attached to my helmet. 
What? Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's good. good. It's good. Fine. It's great. All right. You so, got the video, right? Yeah. yeah. That was in the tank, though. That's why I have to have it on the helmet now. I didn't want to see that. All right. Cool. So we got legal. Hey. Um, Evan showed up because, you know, food. We've done hush puppies, shrimp, fried oysters, french fries, catfish. Those didn't come out very well. We're gonna not gonna eat those. Um, so those don't count. That's North Texas, it doesn't count. Yeah. No, that's, those, <laughs> things happen with those. I was I actually wasn't the one cooking those. So, I, I wasn't. Okay, uh -huh. so, yeah, we're filming. My wife's over there like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> You're number one in my book too, sweetheart. No. <laughs> All right, uh, what do you want to try first? What do you want to try first? And let me know how I did. I'm going to try. I'm going to, yeah. Get of course, shrimps. All right, cool. Uh-huh. Not going to lie, completely pre-battered shrimp. Just put them in 350-degree oil, wait till they float. It takes about two and a half, three minutes for the shrimp to get done. Compared to your oysters, these don't hold a candle. Your oysters were really good. Yes, yeah. those are good. And your hush puppies are really good, too. Even it's not the black ones. So... This is what happens whenever you have a thermometer that sticks. This one, the guy that was helping me is like, yeah, the oil was at 325, and then I thumped the thermometer and it jumped all the way to, ha oh, <laughs> from hot. So it was probably about 700, this Ooh. is how they're supposed to look, so. Don't eat that. That's what dogs are for. I don't think the dogs will eat it. Right. So <laughs> how come your french fries are so, Small? how shall I say, so, your size? Age uh, your H-E-B screwed me. Did they? I, I got shoestring french fries, and I was thinking they were going to be these skinnier, like, normal length. They were the regular size, just short. I'm like, let's start shoestring. That's like flip-flops. It's oh, like half size. Yeah, they didn't screw you. You just hey, didn't realize Jeff. what it was. Come on. Come get the end of the video and do the taste test. Yeah, it's a good time. I blame Jeff for the meteors. He's the one that didn't know how to work the thermometer. They didn't, had to know how to work. Okay. Wait. This right here is probably my favorite piece are of you, the night. Are you talking about these? Uh-huh. Yeah. No! Oh! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Do <laughs> you have the boudin? I have not had the boudin. This is good, good boudin. They're really good boudin. Boudin is good. Yeah. Jeff did the boudin. Did you do it in the dirty oil? No, I did it on the grill. Oh, the grill. okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. French fries. All right, so oysters and catfish. Give me a try. Boudin is just boudin. So whatever french fries you bought, you should get a refund. H-E-B screwed me. He was, he did, he got a ring. Huh? It said shoot string. I tell my 16 year old nephew the same thing. He's like, is there an audio book? No, not for shoe string <laughs> french fries. Shoe string french fries mm -hmm. are narrower, but the same length. These were good. I don't know what, thank you. Yeah, yeah these oysters. are good right here. You don't like half a sheet. An oyster? I'm a big fan. Wow, that's oh, good okay. stuff. Mm -hmm. You weren't a big fan of like several different pork products either. No, pork I love. What was it you didn't normally like that you ate over here and you couldn't stop eating? That was the spinach and feta. Oh, okay. But wait, it's chicken. It is chicken. That's what we tell my son. All chicken. To get him to eat it. <laughs> Dude, he totally like just rah, rah, rah. Hmm? He's like, this is good chicken. I'm like, just keep yep. thinking that, son. You rock on. All right, so oysters are good. Oysters are good. Just gonna finish up the catfish. All right. Not finish up. Just have one or two? Yeah. See how they do? Yeah. I like some of the catfish. I like the catfish. Mm. If I'm not mistaken, you did these from Frozen. Yes. Right? They, they were brought to you frozen. They're brought to me frozen. Right. And I've took we're them to talking the... Stanley Cup playoffs, hockey puck on the ice, frozen. Yeah. Yeah. That was really good. Thank you. Not even based on that bell curve. This is like a, this is a good. You can tell which batch was done in the burnt oil, though. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, with the burner that went out. How, how did that get uh, so hot, Jeff? Well, we were using the uh, the burner that we stole from NASA. Uh huh. <laughs> and uh, borrowed, borrowed. And, and, and apparently, apparently, the uh, thermometer lapped itself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of being 400 degrees, it was 800 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It lapped itself. All right. So everything good? Everything happy? Everything's very good. What are you drinking? Um. Do you remember? Canadian Hunter? No, not Canadian Hunter. American I'm, Pride I'm Canadian drinking, whiskey? I'm uh, drinking Centuco. <laughs> Centuco? Centuco? Whatever it is. Japanese. Not the one, one I got you. Oh. The one you have over there. Oh, okay. Suntory. Suntory, there you yeah. go. Toki. That's dark for that, but okay. Hey, it was cooked in the dirty oil. Fair <laughs> enough. In the dirty oil. I got some in the Castle. He's drinking Lone Star because, you know, he's cheap. It's a fish fry. 
is Bishra. That's true. And Evan Pride is being good because yeah. last time he was over here drinking, he kind of didn't remember the next day. So, been <sighs> good? Just a day? I think that was about a year ago, and I remember <laughs> it clearly because Aiden got in the engine bay while I had <laughs> <up in the laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, burn and learn. Cheers.